Okay, hey guys. So, um, this is one of those questions that I guess um, that I get asked a lot. Um, I get a lot of messages on my comments about it, and I also get a lot of private messages about it, like constantly. And um, I thought I would just take the time to finally make a video about it. Um, and just before I do that, I just wanted to say, like, um, I don't know if you guys have it on your computer yet, because I know everybody's getting it at different times, but there's this new YouTube and in the comments it's really hard to write back I don't know if, it, if it's hard for you guys to write on it but every time I go to write a comment back to somebody it, it, there's a little thing that comes over top of it so if you're asking me questions and I'm not writing back to you that's the reason why I think YouTube will probably resolve it over time but usually I'm writing back to a lot more people than I am right now and that's the reason why so still just so you know I am reading your comments and I'm seeing them and I really appreciate you guys writing the comments to me but the reason I'm not writing back to you like I normally do is because of that. It's so frustrating for me, so that's why. Anyways, okay, here's to the hair thing. Okay, so, again, so many people ask me about this, and, um, like, I think almost most girls, I hate my hair. Like, it drives me crazy. It's so frustrating, but this is what I do. So, first of all, for my roots, when my roots grow in, because obviously my hair is not actually bleach blonde like this, uh, I wish it really was, I use Schwarzkopf Agor Royale um, Blue Dust Free Bleach. This is what I use on my roots. And it's just a blue bleach. It's dust free. Looks like this. And um, I use it with a 30 volume. I didn't bring the peroxide in here, but um, I use a Gora Royale peroxide from Schwarzkopf as well. So that's what I use for the bleach. Um, for a toner, I use a Gora Royale number 9.5 dash 1. Looks like this. The tube is like this. And this is the toner that I always use. And I only use this toner when I'm actually, when I've just done my roots and I use it all over. Just to touch up and keep my hair nice and bright. In shower, because your hair does go yellow if you're as blonde as I am, um, every probably about once a week or something like that, I use Voila Color Cult. Um, and you can get this from your stylist probably, or you might be able to find it online, I'm not sure. Um, I get it at the Beauty Supply. Um, and they also have another thing called, it's called a Revlon Color Ball. And there's like a bunch of things like this, but those are the two that I would say to go for. Um, and this is just like a purple, um, this is a purple toner, but it's an in-shower toner. And you just, you put this on your hair after you've shampooed and conditioned for about, actually I put it on not before I've conditioned. I put this on after I've shampooed. And you just leave it on for about three minutes. Sometimes I leave it on for a little bit longer. And it just brings back your really blonde hair color. But you want to be really truly careful because you can make your hair go gray if you use this too often. So you really don't want to do that. Because like I have actually made my hair go kind of like gray purple looking. So really be careful. Um, and for hair products, I change my hair products all the time. This isn't what I always use. This is just what I'm using like right now and have been using for the past little while. So um, for shampoo and conditioner, I'm using Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. They look like this. Um, and if you're in Canada, I get these at the Beauty Supply, but if you are in Canada, you can get these at Winners. Um, and it's the same, basically it's like the same price. Like I have got these at Winners before because it costs the same at Winners as it does for me at the Beauty Supply. Um, and they're, I believe, like $16.99 at Winners, and that's basically the same price that I pay for them. So that's like a really good deal because these are a liter, and this is a really good shampoo and conditioner. And they also have a ton of different kinds and a ton of different products there, so you might want to check that out. It's a really good deal. So I really like Joico products. Um, they're great. The, their hairspray is really good. Their products are really good. You do want to be careful, though, with their K-Pack series because you can put too much protein in your hair, and that'll dry your hair out as opposed to making your hair healthier. So you do want to watch for that. So this is what I use for shampoo and conditioner. Um, okay, for leave-in conditioner, I use, um, this is funny, you know the Tresemme spray and leave-in conditioner? I love the bottle, the, the sprayer. It's a, it's a really good sprayer. Oh, I love the smell of leave-in conditioner. But I like the Joico leave-in conditioner better, so I use this leave-in conditioner, but I take the, I took the pump off the, uh, the, um, the Tresemme, and I just put it on this, so... There's a little tip if you like the bottle better. But this is a daily care leave-in conditioner for all hair types. And it also has um, thermal protectants in it as well. So this is good. Um, next thing that I put in my hair is a volume booster. This is a, a liquid bodifying glaze from uh, Chi. And I just spray this all over. I kind of go all around my head. I like the sound effects. Oh, by the way, you can see that the um, 
the bird is up there now and I've decided that I'm going to name it Pinky because a lot of people were like name it Pinky so Pinky it is. If you guys help me with that name thank you very much. Um, so yeah I put a little bit of volume boost in just so you can get like a, <clears throat> a bit of volume but I have pretty thin hair. It's I have a lot of thin hair but it's each strand is really thin so I use this. I like Chi products. Chi products are really good. <clears throat> okay next thing that I do is I blow dry my hair. Yeah, that's the next thing that I do. Oh, sometimes I use, um, no, that's not it. Sometimes I use mousse, but not all the time. But sometimes I do, especially if I'm going to wear um, hair extensions because I feel like they hold the hair extensions in a little bit better. And when I do, I use um, Schwarzkopf Osis, this one. Love it. I really like Schwarzkopf, and when I'm working, that's the color line that I use. So, loves it. When I blow dry my hair, and I probably will do a How I Round Brush My Hair video, and ironically I'm having a bad hair today, a hair day today, so this isn't really a good day to be doing a hair video, but what are you going to do? Um, but anyways, I round brush my hair, and I round brush my hair with a big round brush because that's how you get like the most volume. So I dry my hair probably about mm, 80 80%, maybe just a little bit more than 80%, then I clip my hair in sections starting at the bottom and I round brush my hair out. Because there's no point in like leaving your hair completely wet and then trying to round brush it because it'll just take you forever, your arms will get so tired and it's just, it's a nightmare. It gets tangled, you're pulling, you're, it, it's just too much work. If you dry it most of the way and then do it, it'll be a lot smoother, a lot quicker and you'll get through it way faster. Another thing with round brushes that I want to tell you, a lot of times they have, um, there's like the connection right here between the bottom and like the ferrule and then the the top of it and you often will snag your hair I don't know if this happens to you it happens to me all the time and it happens to me on clients too you'll snag your hair so what you want to do is you just want to take a piece of tape right here and just wrap it around and that'll prevent you from like ripping your hair or ripping anybody else's hair um, it looks gross but it, it will really save you and you won't snag your hair on it um, after that, I will take, if I'm going to flat iron my hair at all, which I do flat iron like the sides sometimes and just like a little bit of my hair, I'll take a Chi Iron Guard. Uh, it's a thermal protectant and this will really, really protect your hair. Um, and you only need a really tiny bit. If you put too much, it'll like make your hair kind of crunchy and not feel really good. So you don't want to take too much of this, just a tiny little bit. And any thermal protectant is better than nothing. So you want to keep that in mind. And honestly, that Tresemme stuff is wicked. So you can get that at the drugstore. I know you can get it in Canada and the U.S. because I've heard um, other people talking about it on YouTube. So if not, this is what I like. Um, I like that one too, but this is what I'm using right now. So... There you go. For hairspray, um, this is what I'm using as well. It's Chi. It's called Infratexture Dual Action Hairspray, and it smells so good. <clears throat> I'm like losing my voice. It smells so good. Mm, I love it. It's like it's got kind of like a masculine smell. It smells like like guys cologne almost, but I just I love it so much. And you know what? It reminds me. It reminds me of like going out partying on the weekend. For some reason, that's like really bad. It reminds me of like going out and like hanging out with my friends and having a few drinks because that's when I use hairspray really because I don't really use hairspray too much through the week but yeah so this is the one that I'm using right now Chi I really like that as well I guess I use a lot of Chi and Schwarzkopf products but those are my favorites um, and then the last thing and I use this all the time I think I've told you guys about this it's like dangerous though you can like really fall and hurt yourself because like I said I have fallen and hurt myself with this stuff um, and it's called Sparkler Gloss Shine Spray um, and it's from Osis too, from Schwarzkopf, and it just gives your hair like the nicest shine. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it really does like shine your hair up, and it smells. It is the best smelling hair product in the universe. It's just like, you'd eat it if you could. I'm not kidding you. It's so good. So, yeah, I think this video is going to be pretty short too. That's going to be like two short videos in a row. Um... Yeah, as for flat irons, I use, I have a lot of different flat irons, but for myself, I generally use an NP flat iron. I really like it. Um, I've had like a few of them for like a really long time and used them at work over and over and over again, and none of them have ever died on me. They last a really long time. They're really good. They're really hot. Um, they're ceramic, and that's what I use at home as well. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that everybody that asked me about this is seeing this video because these are the products that I use at home on myself all the time. That's how I keep my hair really blonde um, without breaking and falling off. And I mean, just like a couple things too. You know, if you're blonde and you're you're just trying to get your roots to just trying to get your roots to be 
to be blonde. You don't need to dye your whole head blonde every single time. You just need to do your roots, right? So just do your roots and then tone your hair because that's not going to be damaging it. The same as just coloring over and over and over. You don't want to be dyeing blonde over blonde over blonde. That's what's causing the breakage and the brittle blondness. So, um, yeah. Anyways, like I said, I hope this helped and I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.